How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Cal Kashuv or Cal Kashuv. I don't want to butcher his name, so for this video, I'll call him Cal. He was admitted into Harvard University, but later on, the admission got rescinded. Now, the reason why it was rescinded is because of an old Google document that was unearthed. Somebody took screenshots of it and put it on Twitter, and if I can find that, I'll place that in the box below so you're able to see it for yourself. In that document, he was referring to blacks as the N-word. He was saying some really racist and egregious things. So that's the reason why his mission got rescinded. Now, before we even begin, I'm not going to say it's all right to use racial slurs towards blacks, towards whites, towards Jews, towards Asians, Hispanics, or anybody like that. I don't use racial slurs towards anybody. I don't even curse. So I think that that's wrong. However, I think if somebody apologizes for it, at a certain point, we got to be able to move on. Let's put it in perspective. He was 16 years old. He didn't say it publicly. It was in this private Google document. So he thought that it wouldn't come out. He just, you know, you know how you are when you were a kid, not saying racial slurs, but saying shocking things to each other. That's kind of what I think was going on here. And I believe that Kyle himself said it. He was just trying to shock his friends and it was just really racist and crass and egregious. But what 16 year old is an angel. I don't know of any. If you do, let me know them in the box below. Because I think they really don't exist, but we'll move right along. As a result of that, he is now being seen as a racist, as somebody that just hates black people, someone who doesn't deserve to be at Harvard. But let's put these things in perspective. You have a lot of people that are in higher education who have said much worse things than Cal publicly and on purpose. You got professors that are just endlessly talk about how evil and hateful and bad white people are, uh, whiteness, white privilege. You got classes that will teach against the concept of whiteness and white privilege. Is that not racist? So why is that accepted? But what he said two years ago in a private document for which he has apologized has not been accepted. I don't really understand. Okay. I talk about the governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam. This man was 25 years old or so in medical school. So we're talking about way beyond high school where Cal was when he said those comments or wrote those comments in the private document. Way beyond high school, way beyond undergrad. You're graduating with a PhD. You're, you're becoming a doctor, sir, at like 24, 25 years old. You put a whole picture in your yearbook publicly of two people. One of them is probably you. You said that it wasn't you, but I doubt that's true because you came out and said it was you at first, but I digress. One of the pictures has somebody in the Klan outfit and the other has somebody in blackface. So what's going on with that? The media covered it for like 72 hours and dropped it and let it go. It wasn't a big thing anymore. He's still right there in office. The uh, attorney general, Mark Herring, also had some blackface paint on, blackface, and that's not really a problem. It wasn't covered by the media. The uh, lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax, has two rape allegations against him. That's not really a big deal. They can be in office. These are full grown adults. But this 16 year old, you want to deny him education at Harvard because of that? What's really going on with that? I don't understand. But then again, I do. It's because he's conservative. He, he leans more to the right. Uh, he was a Parkland shooting survivor. And I think he's the only one that's conservative out of the ones that we know about in the public eye. I think there are two more who are pretty well known. That is David Hogg and Emma Gonzalez. They're both leftists. They're trying to fight for gun control. But Kyle is on the other side of it. He's trying to get teachers armed and preserve Second Amendment rights. So that could be the underlying reason why his admission was rescinded. Not because of the N-word, because there are plenty of people in college who use racial slurs against a lot of people, especially white people, I've seen courses, not necessarily at Harvard, but I've seen courses that teach against the concept of whiteness, of white supremacy, of white people in general. It's not a crime. It's not a problem. It's not an issue to be racist against a white person at all. That's perfectly fine. Although Cal is Jewish, it doesn't matter. He appears to be white. And that's all that matters to those who are looking at this on the outside. Those who are making a decision about the n-word they see him as a white person so if you're a white person you're 16 years old 
a document comes out in which you typed about blacks being the N-word, then, you know, that's a no-go because you're conservative, mostly. If it were a guy that had a lot of money behind him, a big donor behind him that kicked off like 10 to 15 million, this wouldn't be a story because money talks. All right. We can look past all that stuff and your political affiliation because we're getting money. We're basically just taking the money and you was a package deal. It's not really a big problem. You won't cause a big stir on campus more than anything else. And we got to get that money. So it's all good. All right. And then beyond that, what if it were a black person that had some racist things to say about a white person in a Google document and that came out? First of all, that wouldn't even be a story. It seems like nobody thinks racism can happen from a non-white person to a white person. That's not even really a real thing, which is crazy. If I say a thing that's negative or racist against white people, then there's no problem. None at all. If I have a document that I wrote in when I was 15 that called white people the devil and they smell like dog, all this day and the third... That wouldn't be an issue. Nobody would care about that. That would not cause me to have my admission rescinded. If anything, I would have an advantage over Kyle, even with the things I said, if he had nothing against him. So let's say Kyle was in there totally clean, no racist document surfaced, and I have a racist document that surfaced, but I'm black. I still have the advantage over Kyle because I'm black. They're trying to get more blacks and hispanics into these ivy league schools because there's too many asians and whites matter of fact there's a lawsuit going on right now because asians are being discriminated against they got this little score i'm not sure what it is your personality your likability your socialness whatever you want to call it that score is always lowest with asians and that is used to get them out of the process to make room for more blacks and hispanics okay so they're actively discriminating against certain groups of people. You can't do that. Now, some would say they're a private organization. Yes, but they're also tax exempt. And according to the Supreme Court, you cannot discriminate. So that's what this really boils down to. It ain't about the N-word. It ain't about any of that. It's about politics. It's about appearances. And it's about numbers. We can't have this guy in here because he said, well, that even didn't even say, he typed the N-word two years ago when he was 16 and he's conservative leaning. So a guy like that is not what we want to have at Harvard. We want to have more left leaning people, more so-called people of color. That's just pretty much what it is. A lot of folks are celebrating this talking about, Oh, you got what you deserve, but let's be clear. This could be you in the future because they might want to move away from this thing of protecting the people of color. They may want to attack you for being conservative, for being pro second amendment, for being pro life. If you're on campus and you're talking to people, you may poison them. You may cause harm to them. So they may get you out of there for that. Who is a grand arbiter of what is acceptable speech and what's not, you know, we all know that racism is bad and that's fine, but what else is bad? And what's the actual penalty? Do you just get held? for that comment that you wrote at age 16 throughout your entire life. Although you have been apologizing for it, you've been politically active and fighting for good things. I mean, how long do we hold that against you? I don't really know, but I think I'm done with that particular topic. So what say you, do you think that Harvard was correct to suspend or to revoke Cal Cashew's college admission? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Yes, it is a private school, but also federally funded. So should we take away the federal funds from a school if they want to behave like this and just do things based upon your skin color, your political orientation? They won't say they rescinded his admission because he is white appearing Jewish and said, quote unquote, racist things or that he is right leaning conservative that is pro Second Amendment. They won't say that to you directly. They'll say things like, well, we reserve the right to do that anytime and it's our choice. Is that and the third? As I close, I want to say this. I'm not a big fan of colleges because too many of them engage in behavior like this. Kind of scammy, underhanded. You don't know what's going on. I'm not really a big fan. So hopefully Kyle's able to go to a better school that's mess suited for him. And hopefully these colleges don't behave in a hive mind. Hopefully they have their own independent thoughts and they're able to look at a person who is apologetic, who is very bright guy, 
top two in the class, high SAT. Look at a guy like that as belonging in your institution. And if you're not wanted there, I would say go somewhere else where you are wanted. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.